Stravo, hi, and welcome back to the channel. On a previous video, I asked you what you would like to see more of, and lots of answers. Thank you very much indeed. If you still have some questions or some suggestions, put them in the comments below. And also, give us a thumbs up now, please, because that helps the algorithm to show this video and many more to more people on YouTube. So, you wanted to see more culture, places within Bosnia and Herzegovina, history, a lot about food. But I was surprised that the amount of people said, just your everyday life, David. So I thought I'd start making uh, a series of everyday life videos. So this is it, everyday life, part one. We've just been shopping and bought this. This is Rakia uh, from uh, the Dubiosa Collective. We found this in Banja Luka and because I've recently fallen in love with Dunjavaca, which is quince brandy, we bought this. It's lovely packaging and one of the things I think really stands out, uh, you won't be able to see it, but I'll tell you what's written there anyway. It says Rakia disinfecting people, which I think is really, really cool. Yeah, anyway. I'll put a link below to where you can find all that. And here it is. Look at this. The labelling is absolutely superb. And it says Mac Susia. Is that the right pronunciation? Mac Susia. Mac Susia. Yes. So and is... the label is like, um, uh, it's, it's like a silk. It's like a material. It's yeah. not paper. No, it does. It, it's just fantastic labelling. Packaging. Great. Look at the colour. Look at the colour of that. Is that color of the Buddha? <laughs> That's the color of the Buddha, which is not my stomach, <laughs> um, but it's uh, the word for barrel. As you can see, nicely packaged up. Approved by the government. Approved by the government. Because it has a government label on it. Wow, there goes the pop. I would show Tamara. Can I smell it? Go on. Oh, nice. Oh, nice, right. So. There it is, a nice glass of Dunja Vacha, which is quince brandy, courtesy of the Dubioza Collective, and it's, uh, how do you pronounce it again? Maxuzia. Maxuzia. So, Jivali. Jivia. I've had some quince, and I've had some quince, and this is the dog's nuts. By the way, the, the Dubioza didn't pay me to do this. Yet. <laughs> they won't pay you, trust me. Seeds, look at those. Litva. What's that in my language? I think it's a bok choy. Bok choy. I put three just in case. It's a lot of hard work, isn't it? Oh. With Maxuzia, everything is easy. <laughs> Maxuzia. You're addicted to Maxuzia. That's my micro garden. First box, it's spinach. Second one is coriander. The third one is a mix of salads, and the fourth one in a little, uh, how do you say this? Like in pots, little in pots. A, in a little pots, it's uh, seedlings. Seedlings for... Seedlet, seedlings for... Bok choy, how do you say it? Mango. 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 Mango, in here? Or the... Uh, what's that one? A mix of salads. Yeah. They don't need too much salad. This one? This is, this is coriander. Coriander. And this is a spinach. Spinach. And these are actually spinach. these are actually bags, aren't they? Grow bags. Yeah, fifteen gallon bags. But fifteen gallon I bags. I folded them up. Because I don't, we had I those, don't need them much. We had those brought in like drugs from uh, from Britain. You enjoy doing this? Yes. I bought some more stuff. More <laughs> seeds and more. Uh, so we can show that. More cups, yeah. So we can show this in. Because we need to raise seedlings now, and then so it goes back in the garden upstairs. It's hard work doing seeds though, isn't it? Yes. Gardening is a hard work, but it's enjoyable. <laughs> what happened to Phoebe?
My Thursday starts with journaling. I've only done it two days. This is the first day. And there's the one that I've just done. I'm supposed to do 15 minutes a day. But I'm a little shy of that. This morning. Off to the vet this morning. Little Cena needs to get snipped, if I can use that phrase. But first she's going to go for an assessment from our uh, vets to see if everything's okay. What do you think? Yeah, we don't know how old she is, but I think she's uh, definitely ready to be snipped. So, how old? Six, seven months? Six, seven months, but I'm not sure. So, off to our vets. One health vet, they're called. Just the other side of Lactashi there are absolutely great guys. So how old? Eight months. Eight months. So what's going to happen? Sutra we are going to oh. go home before any Tomkin finds her and make her babies. So she's going to come here tomorrow, uh, um, tomorrow yes. get snipped and stay for two days? Maybe three days. We'll maybe, maybe three days. Okay, and that's our vets there, so see you tomorrow. When we got back home last night, we found that uh, there have been some workers either from the Opstina, which is the municipality, or um, from the village council, have been down clearing uh, the road outside the house. Now, why is that important? Well, I suppose to most people it isn't. <laughs> But you know, for 20 years, we've come out of the house and we've just seen trees, like uh, trees and bushes, which gave us a bit of privacy um, between us and the fields away. But I think uh, it's been time to prune them back and they have with a vengeance. So this is us, right? And this all here used to be trees and scrubland. So we've just come across Look, we can <laughs> look right across the fields. And that's what they've done. Yeah, look. All the trees, I don't know what they're going to do with them. They're most probably going to come and cut them up smaller and take them away and then, I don't know, burn the rest. But underneath there, Let's see that I don't... Underneath there is a brook, like a small stream. And I think that will be all part of clearing this. So next year, if we get downpours of rain or more snow, and when it all melts, that it won't uh, cause problems. But yeah, that's my view now. I can come out and just look at this better than I could before. I don't know if you can see in the distance, but over there, those mountains are the edge of the Kosra National Park. Going to the vets, yes? Yes. Oh, she's crying. There we go. There she is. David's name is a vlog. So when's she coming back? Monday. Today's Friday. Okay. It's easier for us. Okay. With all the animals. We're going to drop the plastic now. We also can drop glass and other stuff here, so but it's plastic today. Oh, this person. There's everybody, it's fr Tam says it's Friday and crazy day. Why is he backing up now? I don't know. And there are the containers. Plastic, paper, and general. Big bag of plastic. <laughs> yeah, then, two, three. How easy is that? So we're going to pay my health insurance, but this mural I always love. 
this is, um, I'm just going to walk back a bit. As you can see, it's got strawberries on it. Because in Slatina, which is not far away, they have a strawberry festival um, every year. And this is a mural about the strawberry festival from a Banja Luka artist called uh, Natasha Konyevich. She does all this sort of stuff and she is the only female that does large canvases. I spoke to her once, I put a uh, link to her interview below. But she said I do the biggest ones. So she's not the only muralist. I like it. Everyday Life Part 1, the first of a series of occasional weekly vlogs about my life here in the north of Bosnia-Herzegovina, about, I don't know, 16, 18 kilometres north of Banja Luka, uh, and based in the village where I live. I hope you enjoyed watching it, and I hope it added some value to you. Uh, and if you want to see more of these, uh, just let me know in the comments below. As I said in an earlier video, new content will be uploaded every Sunday morning at 10 o'clock Central European time. And if you've got this far and you haven't already given us a like, please do, thumbs up. It does help the algorithm a lot. And of course, please do subscribe and check the notification bell so that you never miss when we have an upload. A teaser for the next video will appear on Instagram and also here on YouTube community tab sometime around Wednesday and Thursday. In the meantime, and before the next upload, why don't you check out these videos here? Until next time, stay safe wherever you are in the world. Vidi Musakasnia, see you next time.